What's up guys? I am at the airport parking lot and I figured I would pull out my vlog camera. Um, crew scheduling just called me two hours ago and I have to Uber to Louisville and uh, operate flights tomorrow. So basically I'm hitching a ride, staying in a hotel tonight and working tomorrow. So this is my first time back on short call reserve. Um, in like months, so I'm not used to this at all and I'm gonna head inside the airport get a coffee and I guess just get in my uber so What's up guys the last time you saw me was in my uber to Louisville and I'm here at the hotel just showered I'm pretty much ready for bed um not the nicest hotel I've ever stayed in. It's a bit musty, a bit old, but we're just gonna get through it. We're not here for very long. I have to get up at 7.45 to get to the airport with my crew by 8.40. Right now, um, they have four flights on my schedule to work and one to operate, or one to deadhead, so that's five flights tomorrow. Um, just stay tuned because tomorrow is going to be crazy. They have us going to Houston in the morning and right now Houston is like catastrophic flooding so I don't even know what's going to happen um, at all. So this has been one of the most interesting trips so far and yeah I haven't even been on a plane. I literally went to the airport to get in the Uber. So, I will try my absolute best to keep you guys informed on what goes on tomorrow. I will read you my schedule, and I also, at this point, am working two different airlines tomorrow. So, we are doing Louisville to Houston, Houston to Charlotte as one airline partner Charlotte to Myrtle Beach Myrtle Beach to Charlotte and then a deadhead home so that's the plan as of now they have already changed it multiple times and I'm sure they're going to continue to change it and if not I will be shocked so I'm gonna stop rambling and I will see what happens in the morning so I will see you guys bright and early good morning guys it is Friday the 20th and we are heading to Houston to start leg one of five today. So like I said uh, last night, I'll try to keep you guys informed on what happens today. Um, I really don't know at this point. I hope everything goes as planned, but with everything that's going on with the weather and just five flights in general, there's a lot of room for, for error. So. With that being said, I am going to walk downstairs and catch an Uber. This hotel does not have a hotel shuttle. So we all have to Uber to the airport, which is fine. I don't I don't care how I get there, but I just thought it's funny. So with that being said, I will see you guys later. What is up guys? It is currently the next day. So it is Saturday, September 21st. And I knew it was going to be super difficult to film yesterday, so I do apologize, but it was absolutely insane. We had hardly any time in between flights since we were delayed all day long. It turned out to be a 14-hour duty day, which is the maximum that we can do. We flew about 9 hours, and I slept in until about 10 a.m., and yeah, it was a pretty crazy day so I do apologize for not being able to vlog. I did get a trip assigned for today. I have a two day and I will be overnighting in Oklahoma City which is it is what it is. I mean it's gonna be hopefully better than the last trip. The last trip was honestly one of the worst ones that I've ever done in my life. We like you saw Earlier, we had to Uber to Louisville, stayed in a not so good hotel, and then had a 14 hour day with switching airlines in between. So, 
yeah I'm looking forward to this trip it's a pretty decent hotel and two legs each day so at about two o'clock I'm gonna head to the airport and my mom is actually flying out to Denver today to see my brother so I'm gonna meet her for lunch which will be really nice to see her and we go from Indy to DC and then DC all the way to Oklahoma City it it's probably gonna be like a two and a half hour three hour flight um, and then we're done we have like a 15 hour overnight and yeah hopefully it all goes well um, it's a pretty chill overnight I've had Oklahoma City a lot now and they have a nice pool and a nice breakfast so at least we have that going for us and yeah I am actually going to head and get some Starbucks because I'm still a little bit tired I have been really good about like making coffee and breakfast at home but today I'm just craving Starbucks so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get back and start packing and getting ready for my two-day trip so with that being said I will see you guys in just a little bit what's up guys I'm about to head to the airport and meet up with my mom to see her for a little bit before my flight and then like I said earlier, we go from Indy to DC and DC to Oklahoma City. So let's go to the airport. Would you look who it is? I lost my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I ran into this random person in the airport. Uh, she claims that she's my mom. I'm not sure, yeah. um, but I'll take her. Yep. She is going to Denver and I'm going to Washington. So it kind of sucks. So say hey to the vlog. Hey peeps. <laughs> and say bye to the vlog. Goodbye. Mom's taking this plane. I'm taking, you can't even see it. That plane right there. Yup, right there. <laughs> What's up guys? I'm in Oklahoma City after a very easy day of work. So everything went well. We did two flights. Uh, the last flight was, seemed like forever. It was about three hours, but we're here. And I'm just chilling in my hotel room. I've watched a couple of videos on YouTube and I'm about to hop in the shower. But before then, I will show you guys my room. I feel like I have stayed here so many times, but it's a nice hotel and the beds are super, super comfortable. And yeah, not a whole lot going on tonight. Um, we have a 12.30 van in the morning, so plenty of time to sleep in, and hopefully you can catch the free breakfast in the morning. There's a Starbucks downstairs, which is beautiful. So yeah, I will show you my room in just a second. Two beds, yay. Got a fridge. And bathroom. All right, I am all showered and ready for bed. It is currently 11.15 at night, which means it's past midnight at home since we're on central time here. So I'm gonna go to bed now and hopefully wake up around nine to catch the free breakfast and maybe get a workout in tomorrow. That's a stretch. But we have a deadhead to Charlotte and then a two and a half hour sit and then we operate Charlotte to Indianapolis. So I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. Good morning guys. It is the next day and it's 9 a.m. I woke up at 7.45 or absolutely no reason i've been waking up strangely early and i'm not sure what's going on but <laughs> i'm up and i'm actually gonna head down to get some breakfast really quick and just kind of hang out until it's time to go to the airport first flight's a deadhead so i can't really complain there and yeah let's go get some breakfast
What's up guys? I am all ready to go and we're about to head to the airport. We go from here to Charlotte. We have like a two and a half hour sit and then finally we go from Charlotte to Indy. So I will catch up with you guys in just a little bit. All right, vlog. All right. Deanne just finished her first official trip with us. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren. You're absolutely amazing. Thank you. You're so really sweet. Loud. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys. It's me again. I'm just here to go ahead and end the video. The last clip you saw was of my other flight attendant. I just wanted to explain this a little bit. She finished her very first trip off of training with my airline, and she did such a great job. I remember when I first started, I was a complete mess. It is honestly so scary coming straight out of training and then just working flights. So Deanne, you did such a great job and I'm so proud of you. I'm so glad that I could kind of help you out on this trip and I'm glad that it was an easy one to start off with. So that's really good. Um, obviously back home, I have the next two days off. And after that, I go back on long call reserve. I already have trips pre-assigned to me so I kind of have an idea of how my week's gonna go but obviously that's that could change at any time but yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and if you have not already to subscribe to my YouTube channel I would greatly appreciate it and I guess with that being said I will see you guys on my next vlog